So, today I'm going to be super real with you guys. So, I follow this dude named Grego Gallagher. He owns Kino Body, and I personally do some of his programs. Well, I'm heavily influenced on some of his programs and his teachings. He's, like, I, I pretty much live by his rules, and I think his lifestyle just makes life so much easier. He just recently was talking about how he accidentally uh, binged on food the other day. And that's the topic I want to talk about is how to stop binge eating. So, binge eating can come from many different things. But the problem is you just gain so much. Like, it's just a surplus of calories and you just want to keep eating and eating and eating. And I think the number one problem is that if you feel like you need to binge eat... Honestly, I'd say just get out of your system. Get out of your system. And there's uh, this dude, oh, what's his name? I'm gonna look him up real fast. Because he was talking about this in um, in one of his videos about how to break habits and develop better ones. Um, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, Radu Antonio. Um, he, um... He also does the Kino Body stuff. He expresses his teachings, and he's very informative. I, su I suggest you go check him out, because he has a lot of cool, interesting videos. Um, he talks about how to break habits. And what it comes down to is... You really... Like... The worse the habit is, or, like, the, the more negative effect it has on you. Because, you, like, changing a positive habit is different. I get... And you wouldn't really want to change it anyways. But, like, let's say something for binge eating... Pretty much, if you binge that day, you have to binge for the whole week. You have to consistently binge throughout the whole week until you just can't do it and you feel sick to it and you're pretty much, your body forces you to change. Like, you, like, will mentally kind of destroy yourself. You want to mentally rebuild yourself and the result in you um, having better, um, a better habit. So... Another way to avoid it is take back. Look back at your day. Look back. What caused you to binge? Was it because you were dieting too hard? i say that's one of the main reasons as well. It's just that you diet way too hard. When you're in a deficit for a long period of time, your body just wants to... It's just craving. It just wants it's food. It just... It's not used to... It doesn't want to drop fat. You like People don't realize that like getting to a low body percentage, your body does not want that. Your body wants to stay... At its baseline, and it's ba and it's everyone's different. I the baseline is pretty much where your body is feeling comfortable with its own composition, and as you're dieting down, your body doesn't really like that. And it's gonna try to do whatever it takes to avoid those situations, but you just not eating pretty much forces it to change anyways. But you're heavily influenced by this factor. So if you're you're probably dieting too hard. You guys take back, look back at your day, and think, how can I prevent this? How can you prevent this? What could you have done to not binge eat? Could have been that you were, if you were craving some sugar, you could have substituted with fruit, fruit for sugars. You could have, if you wanted a burger, I mean, it's hard to stop at one thing. And trust me, I, I binge eat all the time, all right? I mean, during my whole few months of cutting, like, I was from two oh from two ten to where I'm at right now, one seventy eight. I binged so many times. I pro like I say about seven times throughout my whole diet. And that's just because I used to do the crash diet. I used to take in like eighteen hundred calories. But when you're six foot three and you strength train well back then I was strength training six days a week. I was lifting weights six days a week at maximum frequency, at maximum effort, training to failure six days a week. Eating, eating 1800 calories. I binged so much. It's not even funny. And that's where you realize you have to change because I wasn't getting results. I wasn't dropping fat because I was in a surplus throughout the whole time. You have to realize that in order to lose fat, it's all about the caloric deficit. So that means, one, why I could have done prevent it. Bring up calories a little bit. Find out what your BMR is because that's how much energy you need. And honestly, like, that's just you sleeping. If you just lay in your bed all day, and you just slept. That's how many calories you burn. Chances are, if you walk around, if you probably walk around, you go think, you go piss, you go shit, you go eat, that's, you're still burning so much energy. So, 
I'd say at bare minimum, eat your BMR if you're like if your lifestyle is really laid back and like you don't really do anything all day. But like that's like bare minimum, and you'll lose weight. You got to make sure you're getting what you need. A balanced macronutrient diet. All right, a balanced diet will help you a lot because I used to go really low in fat because I thought it was easier. And here's a good example of how I kind of fixed it. So this is a the whole thing of fat free cottage cheese. But what I did was I added a serving of peanut butter to it and now it's like, it's fucking dessert. Hmm. You should find satiating foods that you can eat and be happy with. And you just, it's a mental game. You gotta break that mental habit. It's it's bad. It's it, it won't get you anywhere. You won't get results. You'll be frustrated. And when you're frustrated, it's going to be even worse. Because you're not going to be happy. And that's the key. You have to be happy in the now. What's the point about living a life if you're not happy? So, steps. Just make sure you know what you're doing. If, you're bin if you feel like you're going to binge eat, bring calories up. Refeed. Refeed that day. You can bring calories up a little bit that day. Just make sure you're not going into surplus. Just refeed. That's what I do. It's better to refeed and eat maintenance than it is to sit there and, oh shit, and then eat a bunch of donuts, eat a bunch of junk food because you just couldn't help it. Don't put yourself in the situations too. And eat food that's in your house. Buy food that pretty much won't allow you to binge eat. Like, I, would, like, I buy rice cakes. Am I going to go binge eat on rice cakes? I would eat like, I'd get pretty full pretty damn fast eating rice cakes. If I eat 10 rice cakes, that's like, what, 200 calories? No, that's less. Uh, sorry, that's even less. That's like 150, and you'd be decently full. You'd be satisfied at the very least. So don't allow yourself to binge by keeping decent food in, in your house and having something that will cause you to over, like, get an amount of surplus in calories. So that's my message. You can break the habit. You just have to, like, really try to get to think. You have to be smart about it. Don't be stupid. 